Maasim Acts 14. And it came to pass at in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Yahudim, and so spoke, that a great multitude, both of the Yahudim and also of the Yavanim, believed. But the unbelieving Yahudim stirred up the other nations and made their minds evil affected against the brethren. Long time therefore abode they speaking boldly in Yahuwah, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. But the multitude of the city was divided, and part held with the Yahudim, and part with the apostles. And when there was an assault made both of the other nations, and also of the Yahudim with their rulers, to use them despitefully, and to stone them, they were ware of it, and fled unto Lystra, and Derby, cities of Lyconia, and unto the region that lies round about. And there they preached the Bessara, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had belief to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And he leaped and walked. And when the people saw at what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lyconia, The Elohim are come down to us in the likeness of men. And they called Barnava, Jupiter, and Paul, Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates, and would have done sacrifice with the people, which when the apostles Barnava and Paal heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, crying out and saying, Sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men of like passions with you and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living Yahuwah, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein, who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness, in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they the people that they had not done sacrifice unto them. And there came thither certain Yahudim from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and, having stoned Paal, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Howbeit, as the Talmudim stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnava to Derby. And when they had preached the Bessara to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the Talmudim and exhorting them to continue in the belief and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah. And when they had ordained them elders in every assembly, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to Yahuwah, on whom they believed. And after they had passed throughout Pisidia, they came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the Torah of Yahuwah in Perga, they went down into Atalia, and thence sailed to Antioch, from whence they had been recommended to the grace of Yahuwah for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered at the called-out assembly together, they rehearsed all that Yahuwah had done with them and how he had opened the door of belief 
unto the other nations. And there they abode long time with the Talmudim.